Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you a wonderful mixed green salad that's the perfect accompaniment to any holiday dinner, special occasion, or weeknight supper. It's mixed greens with mandarin oranges, cranberries, and hazelnut vinaigrette. Well, let's get started. The first thing I want to talk to you about is picking out salad greens. This is so important, and you hear us talk about it on the show all the time. We say deep color. Well, what does that really mean? I've got a beautiful display here to talk to you about. Look at the very deep, rich color of this red leaf lettuce. That's a great choice. The romaine lettuce, the avocados, the red cabbages, your oils, the three, six, and nines, you know how important it is to get those omega oils in our diet. And then it's great to add oranges, citrus, your lemons. Salad is just one of the most important things we can add to our diet. Well, for my salad mix today, I'm going to select a mix of about six to eight cups salad greens. I like to mix four cups field greens with two cups baby spinach and two cups baby romaine. Now, a good rule of thumb is to plan on a cup of lettuce, of lettuce mix per person you're serving. Here's something we've got to remember. Wash your lettuce well, even if you buy the prepackaged kind. What I'm going to do for you today is show you this little trick. I love my salad spinner. I can't make a salad without it. I've got my four cups of field greens. And, you know, it's important just to do the kind of lettuces that your family likes. So, you know, if they don't like field greens, okay, tear up some of the red leaf lettuce. It's okay. So I've got some field greens in here. My baby romaine, which gives it such a nice... A delicate flavor and then spinach is a little richer at first my kids wouldn't eat the spinach then I decided I would just keep trying and keep trying and lo and behold now they love spinach salad so I'll do that much first just takes one or two spins and it just works great look at that it's so much fun this is a great way to get the kids involved when you're cooking the grandkids love to come and spin the lettuce dry for you and another tip I learned that's really neat is when you do that what actually happens is your dressing will stick to the lettuce better. We'll just pop that in there. Oh, that just looks beautiful, doesn't it? And now we'll make, finish our salad. I have got uh, two green onions thinly sliced. We'll put that in. And then we've got two ribs of celery thinly sliced. I like to mix these up. It's kind of like the old adage, you know, of mixing your dry ingredients and then mixing your wet ingredients because you want your salad not to have the ingredients get mushy. So I just kind of mix them lightly, toss it with these wonderful little salad tongs. Aren't these great? These are so much fun. It's kind of like using your hands. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit more of my lettuce avocado. I love avocado. It gives it such a rich flavor. You know, avocados are really good in essential oils as well. They're really good for nursing moms. They make your milk really rich. They're just so healthy. Okay, now we have one cup of mandarin oranges. Or if you're at the, sh at the store, just shop for the large can. Drain it really, really well. Okay, this one looks like don't be afraid if it gets a little runny because we drained this, but you know how it is. They tend to lose their juices, so we'll do it like this. Good deal. You get that vitamin C. You get all those other phytonutrients. It's just really good. Now we've got cranberries. When you buy your cranberries uh, dried like this, try to get them unsweetened. That works really well. It's kind of hard to find the unsweetened ones, but you can get them at your health food store. Feta cheese, uh, cheese crumbles are really, really good, too. So we'll take that and we'll just toss it up. Look at that beautiful, beautiful color. Oh, that's looking good. Your family is just going to love this. Now we're going to add some toasted pine nuts. I like to do about a half a cup. Now, this is a neat little secret for your pine nuts. You toast them by putting them on a baking sheet in a 350 degree oven for about five to seven minutes. But be careful because you'll look at them and you'll think they're not toasting and then boom, they burn. So you've got to keep a good eye on them. So we'll just toast those in there. Toss that up really good. How pretty is that? Now, once I have mixed my salad good, I like to toss it like this, not in my serving bowl, but in another mixing bowl, because I usually make quite a mess. So I'm going to transfer this to my serving bowl to put on my holiday dinner table. Now, 
I have a special bowl that I want to use today. This bowl was given to me by my mother-in-law many years ago. It's called American Fostoria Crystal. It is just beautiful. And what's really neat about this bowl is that you can't get them anymore. You can get them at flea markets, etc., but that's about the only place. So I love to use this at holiday dinners. Isn't it nice to reminisce about those you love? And a lot of you know we lost our mom last May, so this bowl really has special meaning for me. I wanted to share that with you today and show that to you. There we go, a beautiful salad ready for the dinner table. So I will just take this and put it over here for serving later on, and then we'll move on to the dressing. Now for the dressing, this dressing is absolutely delicious after you make it. You won't want bottled dressing again. We'll start with six tablespoons apple cider vinegar. And I've got to pause for a moment and talk to you about the vinegars because I'm learning right along with you. The vinegar I'm using today is pure organic unpasteurized apple cider vinegar. I have a bottle to show you today. See how cloudy that is? It almost looks like apple cider, doesn't it? The benefits, health benefits, are so amazing to apple cider vinegar. It's good for the immune system, for fighting candida, arthritis, and all of these things that we fight every day in our environment. It's the live culture in it that has the health benefit. I could just go on and on. You know what they call this? These little floaty items in here that use these particles are called the mother. It's actually a live culture. I like to think of it like the live culture in the acidophilus uh, probiotic type thing, and that's so good uh, to put in our diet, and this is an opportunity to use it. This is a regular vinegar, and see how it's just clear? That's because it's distilled, it doesn't have that live culture in it. I wanted to share that with you because I think that's really important. Okay, so now we've got six tablespoons of uh, apple cider vinegar. To that, we're going to whisk in two tablespoons of honey. Now, I want to talk to you guys about lessening the sugar in our diets. You can adjust the honey according to your family's taste buds. You don't have to use two tablespoons. You can lessen that if you need to. So we're just going to get this honey out here into this vinegar so I get a chance to whisk it up here. There we go. Now we'll just whisk that really good. Kind of mix it around. When we get that kind of mixed up good, we'll start adding our spices. We're going to do two tablespoons dried parsley and a teaspoon of salt. It's that simple. It's really, really, really easy and tastes so good. All right, we just mix, mix, mix. This is a good way to get your exercise when you're cooking dinner. This dressing you can make the day before. Actually, you could make this on Monday of Thanksgiving week and keep it in the refrigerator to shake it really good. That's good. Now we're going to whisk in our parsley and our salt. I always add my oils last. You know why? The emulsification. When you add the oils last, it beats in the air and makes your dressing really light and fluffy. Okay. Now, for this one, I'm going to do two-thirds a cup of hazelnut oil. Hazelnut is a great omega. I tell you, it is so good for us. This is a good way to get that in your diet. There we go. Just whisk that in there really good. And you've got a wonderful, wonderful dressing. Now for a little zip, for those of you who like a little punch, I'll put a couple shakes of Tabasco sauce. You know, I just can smell this hazelnut oil. It's so light and delicate. So many of you have asked for these healthy oils that I now have them in stock for you, so you, I've got them in time for the holidays. All right, that's looking really, really good. Now let's put a little Tabasco sauce and then some salt and pepper. There we go. A little extra, little splash of pepper, and how about a couple shakes of Tabasco? You don't want to add too much, and you can actually leave this step out if your family doesn't like it. It's not going to affect the taste a bit. Okay, there we go. Now you can just shake that up, mix it up really good, pour it into a cruet or a gravy boat to serve uh, with a ladle, and it works really good. I'll put this in a pretty serving bowl to serve with my beautiful bowl that Grandma Rosie gave me. Take this over here. 
And look how beautiful is that. Now to serve your salad, if you're serving a family style dinner, you can serve your salad like this, which is just beautiful, you know, with your salad uh, tongs like this at the table. Or if you would like to serve your uh, salad from the kitchen like a lot of us do if we're having a dinner party or a small amount of people, we will want to just take some of it onto a plate. Let's get our plate over here. This is so beautiful. And it looks so nice on a dinner plate. This is how we like to do it. You know, there's a school of thought where people like to, uh, some people like to add their dressing in the tossing stage. Well, the reason I don't do that is because then the salad doesn't last. And a lot of times we will have more salad than we need, and I don't want it to waste. So I'll just take and drizzle some of my dressing. How beautiful. Mm. Put some dressing on it like that. And then for garnishments, a few extra pine nuts on the top, some cranberries for color, and oh, it tastes so good, and a little feta cheese crumbles. Get some little like this. And what a beautiful, beautiful first course. Look at that. Oh my goodness, how beautiful and delicious. Wow, this healthy cooking really is fun, isn't it? And it's not so hard as we thought it would be. You've got to make this one. So go to HealthyCookingWithCindy.com, print this off and enjoy it. Put it in your recipe file. And if you don't have a computer, just send me a self-addressed stumped envelope and I'll make sure you get the recipe. Now don't you dare go away because we'll be right back for more of your health.